mirrored, but it's going to be a mirror with a twist. Uh, it's going to be a holy paladin versus uh, a holy priest, potentially. Uh, oh. And that's going to be uh, no, no mirrors. Uh, never mind. <laughs> a super twist. Uh, Ripperino. It's a big twist where instead of a rogue, <laughs> it's a warrior. Is not one. <laughs> and instead of a priest, it's a paladin. Charlotte <laughs> Phoenix is going to be locking in the warrior mage paladin unitas with the rogue mage priest. We got this subtlety rogue as well, and uh, that's unfortunate for Aiden. I mean, subtlety rogue known to be kind of a difficult matchup into a warrior, but these mind controls, beautiful oxygen. If he can mind control Nick, then there's going to be no intervene on Aang. That's a, it's a really heads up play, and exactly what Unitas needs to do if they want to win this series. Yeah, but they don't get anything there with the blind. And now Korlik pushing in for crowd control. There's the Hammer of Justice, Oxygen with no fade. Now potentially here for CMD to get crowd control, or for Ang to get crowd control. He's pushing in, he's going for the Ring of Frost with the Aura Mastery, gets it off. Now CMD in a lot of trouble here. He gets interrupted, there's the Alter Time. He gets uh, kicked on it potentially there. Into more crowd control into Oxygen. Oxygen trinkets out, but here comes the Smoke Bomb onto Nick. He's gonna block that a safety net from that Kyrian and now get back onto his target with that save by the light as well. Korlik in a full sheep, full sheep shot here onto Ang. big damage onto Ang. Nice defensive fear by Nick here, breaking up the CC chain. Korlik though in a sap still, Ang on 20% HP, catches a massive heal right there, and now should be okay. Oh, nice, Kyrian Spear there on the grip. Nick is not done yet. One execute connects there, big damage onto CMD, and CMD is going to survive there with some nice heals from Oxygen, but they forced out basically everything from Oxygen. They could also swap the Oxygen on the side of Charlotte at Phoenix the next time they have combustion. All right, let's see if they can set it up here. Nick in a polymorph. Unitas trying to find a footing here and get aggressive, but it's quite difficult. Corlix charging in. This could be it. Are they ready for the hit? CMD's going to Blazing Barrier, but he's caught into a Storm Bolt. Is the shield going to last long enough here? Nick is breaking through it. Now stunned up oh. by Aiden. Aiden looks to turn it around. Has Shadowy Duel available, but caught into a polymorph, unable to connect. CMD is still low on health. The sustained pressure from Charlotte Phoenix is really sinking in here. They're trying to go for the Cauterize. Battle uh -oh. stands Nick. They trigger the Cauterize. CMD's burning down and has to block as well. Shattering throw from Nick from downtown. He's going to remove that ice block, looking to reconnect and really tear in. Warbreaker, this is a lot of damage from an arms warrior. CMD is going to blink away with mirror images, but caught into a storm bolt. Oxygen repositioning in the far back line, but this is Spear of Bastion. So much damage, pinning CMD in the midfield, pummeling his shifting power, preventing his reset whatsoever. Aiden's got maybe one more shot left here. Goes for the kidney shot. Can they take Nick down? Korlik trinkets out. I think that's going to be enough to stop the kill from happening. CMD Blazing Barriers runs around the pillar with Oxygen, desperate to stay alive in game one. And he's looking for a breath of fresh air, but unfortunately Nick is still chasing him down. A big intimidating shout, a double. Aang going forward as well, looking for a Ring of Frost. This is his combustion. CMD barely holding on, but the Kleptomania spell steal does cancel the combustion and avoid a lot of that incoming damage. Kidney shot now on Korlek. They're looking to make a setup. CMD looking for a little bit of damage as well. Can they go after Korlek? Can they get the Divine Shield? It'd be massive, but unfortunately, no. The Gladiator's Emblem going to be more than enough defense for Korlek to survive. And now Charlotte Phoenix looking to get aggressive. There is no trinket on Oxygen. CMD has not a single cooldown left. If Ang can get his combustion reset, and even if he can't, I still feel like Charlotte Phoenix, they're just one setup away from closing it out. Uh, the next time they land some crowd control on the auction, next time they land a Kyrian Spear, it could be good night for CMD right now. They're trying to set it up. They got a sheep onto Korlik. Nick trades out, die with a sword. Overwatch Reflect comes out, and now they're making their push here. Full sheep on the auction. There's a Kyrian Spear. Here comes the damage. What are they going to do? CMD has nothing. Meteor connects. He has combustion, but he can't pop it here. He's going to actually survive here potentially with a defensive kidney shot on the Korlik, shutting down that blinding light that Korlik wanted to go for right there. And but they have been able to stall for one more setup, but that next setup, potentially if Ang can reset his combustion, it could be even more deadly. Hammer of Justice comes out, Ang going for the Ring of Frost, lands it, but it's on DR. They should have went for the Blinding Light and then the Ring of Frost, and now uh, it doesn't matter, they get the kill anyway. There is the uh, seed as well, proc Ang and Cheap Shot. Maybe they can keep the seed alive here, but no, a big hit of damage is gonna come in there, and that is going to be game number one going in favor of Charlotte Phoenix. All right, Charlotte Phoenix up one to zero. Currently in this best of five series, Unitas, another one of those teams that really haven't been able to find their stride just yet. 
in the circuit. Hopefully they can squeeze out a win in this very last one. But Charlotte Phoenix taking that game number one victory with their firearms composition that we see them on so, so often. And we can break down how that all happened in game number one right here, Zico. Yeah, I mean, they honestly did a really good job in the blind pick. They kind of anticipated uh, there's uh, two options that you can fight here. You can fight the, either the sub rogue or the assassination rogue uh, from uh, Unitas. This time around was the sub rogue. They had the warrior, of course, to answer it. And uh, the warrior just uh, makes the mage race super hard to win uh, if you are Unitas because of that intervene. But here, uh, you know, they forced out so many cooldowns. They've gotten the, the CC chain there on the oxygen and oxygen now trying to reposition after that CC chain ended. Uh, and now Korlik actually running in, gets the Hodge into the Ring of Frost, into the Blinding Light right there. And uh, it, it's a kind of interesting to see that this is the ending of the game. And that's because uh, earlier on, Aiden Kidney shot Korlik during the setup. And uh, Korlik uh, wasn't able to use his crowd control right there that he still had now during the kill. So uh, Korlik kind of just uh, initiated that by himself and his team followed up and uh, it was a good idea. All right, good game number one victory for Charlotte Phoenix. Currently one in five in the circuit for match record. If you compare that to Unitas, they are one in five as well. They're actually completely tied, if I'm looking at this right, in game score as well. They're both six and 15, which is interesting. So these guys currently have the same exact match record if you don't include this current series. So it uh, would be interesting to see where this one ends up. But Unitas, uh, you know, we, we know them for this composition, especially with that Holy Priest as well, but they weren't able to squeeze out a victory for that first game. What's it gonna take, Super Tease, if they wanna tie this up? I mean, if they're gonna play the subtlety version, uh, getting the Trinket of the Warrior is very important. That's like the main objective. And then you go for a Shadowy Duel in a one-shot, and that's basically your entire game plan. Get Warrior Trinket. Uh, and then Shadowy Duel with Shadowy Blades. And oh, like, yes! So, but yes! they're completely flipping it around here, bringing Yaskin off the bench. They're going to oh, make sure everybody gets to play. <laughs> okay, in the top four. They're not in the top four. <laughs> hey. I said nobody in the they top can run four. It. I said nobody in the win? top four I feel will like they... run it. Okay, well, the technicality, okay? We're seeing Unitas implement exactly what we saw in the last series. As predicted, teams already, you know, there's a bit of a meta shift here. Um, okay. But yeah, Yaskin on the BM Hunter. <laughs> What? Do you I think mean, this they is knew, awesome to see. Do you think they wanted to play this one or they saw that last series and they were like, hey, why not? Let's try it. They definitely just saw the last series and were like, let's yeah. try it. <laughs> There's no way yeah. Aiden Warrior? When has Aiden played Warrior? He has. Has he played it ever in competitive tournament? Mm, I, I don't but... know about that, but <laughs> I also, I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've seen Yoski a single time yet. He played one game. He played one game. One game. They the, lost. Was it in the round robin or was it in the cups? I think round I think robin. It was in the cups. Round robin. No. Really? I'm sure it was in the round I was robin. Like, I thought we saw him early on in the cups playing like prop okay, paladin okay. or something. Okay. Anyway, sorry. He played prop Go paladin ahead. too, yeah. I think it, in one okay. game. He's played like two games, but I think he lost both of them. He's like the jelly beans I... of this team. <laughs> I think they're getting well. I, like <laughs> <laughs> I mean that in a nice way, by the way. I mean that as a complimentary sure. to both, both players. Sure, I am sure. Come, sure. Come on, I just mean he doesn't get to play that much, and it's always awesome when he's. You know what, man? I... All right, fine. You know what, Yoski? If you're listening, I'm. I... I, I didn't mean that mean way. Charlotte Phoenix, what to see him right now? Game number two on Ash Mains. This will be an interesting one for sure. I mean, Unitas trying to implement what we just saw in that last series, bringing in the Beast Mastery Hunter Arms Warrior, but they're bringing in the Restoration Druid. This could work out better, it could work out worse. Uh, unfortunately, Kleptomania is super effective uh, against the Restoration Druid. A Blinding Light out of a Hammer of Justice, great crowd control initiated on Oxygen. Yasuke trying to survive, but it's actually Aang on the back foot. Warbanner gets dropped down, trying to just slow down some of that crowd control. Big healing needs to come in, and it does. That's the exhilaration and the iron bark and the trinket. So not a bad start for Charlotte Phoenix, but we're seeing Unitas kind of strike back a little bit. 
Yeah, big pressure here on the hand. Can he get some crack control on the core lake? Why did they pick the druid? Hey, you got counter spell right now. Yoski might just die in this because uh, of the counter spell. Beautiful Vayne Death right there on the meteor. Oxygen gets sheep. Oh, Polly! That is disastrous. Ang here gets the best of protection. Looking to get even more aggressive, but I actually do believe Yoski is going to survive here without even using his aspect of the turtle. Uh, I don't know about that. This guy has been on the bench the whole time. Why? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, he's fine. He's gonna, he's gonna have to use the aspect of the turtle. But still, okay, the, fact, the fact that he's even alive after his druid tank, like 20 seconds of CC right there, <laughs> is quite remarkable. So, Yoski, great job right there. He gets clefted now. Oxygen needs to get some new healing over time effects there. Nice spell reflect and eat on the trap right there. Oxygen, if you can get some healing over time effects now onto Yoski, Yoski finally is gonna have some breathing room where he can get some pressure onto Ang. Finally, he can breathe here for a little bit until Portic pushes in for that next hammer of justice. He has it off cooldown he's talking to ang right now they're trying to coordinate it and set it up and it could very well mean the game if they have a long stun lock but right now ang Ooh. taking massive damage there second blessing of protection and i do believe that they're going to go offensive with this one sir all right they crack the blessing of protection but they're trying to push forward korlik is charging in stormbolt on yask hammers are down yask fain death he needs to get out of here if he wants to stay alive here in game number two he's down to 50 percent a full polymorph has been landed they're just trying to tear into Yas. They're counter pressuring Aang actually while Oxygen's in a poly. Will he go down? Doesn't look like it'd be stable, and that's no. it. Yas gets absolutely KO'd and chopped up. If they could stabilize, maybe there's potential here, just looking purely at the fact that Korlik is actually almost out of mana. Uh, but other than that, it seems like the hunter was pretty fragile without the paladin with the immunities backing him up. Yeah. Yeah, we need the paladin. Uh, I think it's a bit bit more convincing with the paladin. <laughs> That's for sure. The problem is if your druid goes in crowd control, the mage just presses kleptomania. And then yeah, it's it's not too good after that. Un unfortunately, um, you just have no healing and you you have to self-sustain and there was, you know, a lot of crowd control that went out. The Hammer of Justice into the Blinding Light, into a Ring of Frost, into a Counter Spell, into a full Polymorph. Yoski, I don't know how he lived for so long, but uh, Charlotte Phoenix definitely punishing Oxygen in this one. Yeah, Oxygen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, uh, oh. I don't know, felt too far behind here in the uh, in, in this match and can really recover. But if you have a Paladin, just Blessing of Protection, Sacrifice, all those instant answers are much more important. Also, according to our stats, that is the first time we've ever seen him, Oxygen, on Resto Druid in Shadowlands. Yeah, I'm not sure if we needed a stat to tell us that. It was kind of a... No, I'm just kidding. 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 I want to see him on this, on this paladin, though, for sure. Or on his Holy with Priest. This... Actually, with, with the Holy Priest as well, in the same matchup, I could totally yeah. uh, uh, see it working. Just don't with don't the, the Druid. With Arms and BN uh, still? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Very cool. Well, they've got one chance left <laughs> to do it here in game number three. The, neither of these teams have faced each other on broadcast in the Shadowlands so far. That includes those cups before the circuit. So we're seeing them finally face each other right now. Charlotte Phoenix currently up 2-0, to zero, and they are on match point. Unitas only has one one chance left to get a win here in this series, and that is the question. Do they stick with that composition to keep Yaski out on that BM Hunter, or are they going to revert to what we did see in game number one? Would... And there it is. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler, <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, Unitas, they're going to be bringing in Assassination, and this is kind of, I, I guess if the Warrior BM's not going to work, you bring in the Assassination Rogue, because, yeah, the Subtlety <laughs> Rogue is kind of, you, you only have that one wish win condition, like Super T said. You basically have to get the Warrior's Trinket and then kill him 100 in a shadowy duel, which it's a long shot. So not the most reliable strategy. Bringing in the Assassination Rogue gives you a little bit more flexibility, but I still think this is a really uphill battle for Unitas. I, I agree with everything you just said, Van, but the Warrior BM doesn't work. The Druid doesn't work. The Warrior BM works. <laughs> I'm winning Venruki yeah. over Zika. He's, he's coming over to the anti KFC there's no, there's no chance. No, I'm not. No, you're not. I like I like the warrior BM hunter. It looks good, but if you don't play a paladin, I'm not convinced. Or a shaman. If you don't play the paladin. Uh -huh. yeah, maybe shaman could work too. What? How is the shaman going to heal that? The rest of shaman. Maybe I could just heal. With Shamans are carried hard right purge. now by hybrids. You heal with purge, bro. <laughs> what do you mean heal? You heal by keeping <laughs> the mage on the back foot. Purge. <laughs> purge off pyroprox. Yeah.
All right, well, here we go. Charlotte Phoenix one away from closing out this series. This is potentially our final game of the round robin. Unitas, they want to put a point on the board. They want to come back in the series. We'll see if they can do it with the Rogue Mage Priest. We've seen them pull off some incredible series before, but Charlotte Phoenix is looking incredibly good today with this Warrior Mage Paladin. Yeah, absolutely. Charlotte Phoenix on a tear so far, and they've got the matchup in their pocket, but Unitas here bringing in their Holy Assassination, and this is a comp that they've been doing extremely well with, honestly, in the circuit. They've gotten, I think, the majority of their wins with this comp, so I really like this coming out from Unitas. All the time from CMD here, he's soaking up a lot of damage, goes back in time, and gets gripped back by Oxygen. Nice timing right there between these two, and they get a nice sheep there with Oxygen. CMD gets counterspelled. That's going to be big trouble here. He gets healed up there. Oxygen trinkets out, trying to save him there with that Guardian, but that is a, a trinket that's uh, going to be out of sync there with the Nick Spear a little bit later on, so it's going to be a dangerous situation ahead. You get a sap here onto Korlik, into the Garoth here, onto Ang. Nice damage. Korlik's going to trinket sacrifice. Now, when Nick pushes in for the fear, that's going to potentially be CMD's ice book. He's going to need to do a great job kiting here, especially if he's low when Nick gets that fear. He just needs to go in and push on it. There it is. Full uh, fear onto Oxygen. And now CMD on extremely low HP here already before that fear even lands. That's going to be oh. far right. the ice block. Shattering throw. Trinkets Shatter. out. He's going for it. He gets it. Match that point. That should just be the game. Oh. Match point. They get the seed. They get the storm bolt there. Nice chain here for that's Charlotte it. Phoenix. And that's going to be it. 3 0 ing Unitas. Charlotte Phoenix takes the final win here of the circuit. They are finishing strong with a 3-0. Well done to both of those teams. They have fought long and hard for the last four weeks.